Hi, I'm Katie. I'm a member of Occupy Sydney and I've been here since the first day. I haven't slept here the whole time. Um, I unfortunately have a nine to five job uh, which keeps me away a little bit more than I would hope though. Um, but 15th of October seems so long ago and yet yeah, I remember that first day, the first rally, um, actually even the first organising meeting where there was say 60 of us in a hall at the university UTS up the road and in three hours we couldn't come to one decision and that didn't bode well for Occupy Sydney and I'm a first time activist so it was uh, it, it really concerned me as to where the whole Occupy movement was going to go in Sydney but we decided uh, on at least one thing and that was that we were going to hold a rally on the 15th of October and that we were going to occupy somewhere. Uh, we came here to Martin Place and were beautifully joined by uh, probably close to a thousand people if not more and it was at that moment that I realised that I was truly part of something really special and really beautiful and life changing and I'm really 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 proud of every single person that's put in more than half an hour you know into the Occupy movement it, it's, it's a hard thing to do it, it's not easy and especially sleeping out here in Mountain Place uh, on the concrete. We've had unprecedented rain uh, throughout this six months and actually hardly any really hot days. So I can't say that we've been scorched uh, here but we've certainly been drowned out on many occasions. Uh, but never out, never truly out. And this Friday marks our six month anniversary and I think it's freaking amazing and it's beautiful and I'm really glad to have been a part of it and to continue to be a part of it. So, thank you. Occupy. Okay, Scotty, I want to ask you some questions and reminiscing back on the last six months, when, what, okay, first of all, what is your first memory? of rocking up to Occupy? Like, when was your first day? What was your first moment? Which which way did you come from, man? Um, like, it was all here. Well, I can actually remember oh, all of shit. that. I, um, I walked up from uh, Elizabeth Street, and I walked up here, and I got down here far too early on um, October 15th. Got here, I think everyone was supposed to meet about 1.30. I got up here about midday. And I got up here, I did say October 15th, didn't I? No, oh, yeah, on no, October 15th, I sat down over here on the war memorial seat and kind of looked around and there was a few other people that were obviously here for the same thing, so we all uh, we all kind of gravitated towards each other and um, met up with each other. Uh, one of them was Sue, from memory. Really? Um, yeah, that was the first uh, first person I spoke to from, yeah. from Occupy, was Sue, and um, yeah, there was a, another, another bloke called uh, Vinny from memory and um, yeah we just sat there and waited for um, everything to, to happen so yeah and it was a good day and slowly everyone turned up and numbers built and the Liberty Warrior was down here and um, right. and yeah and I can remember later on in the night the first taste of um, the BS from the from the cops when they basically someone went to put a tent or, or some shelter up and that's when they Pour in and took everything that wasn't nailed down. Uh, I had a friend who took a, who was uh, down using the bathroom and she had her st all her stuff taken and um, yeah, basically had to spend the night with no blanket, no nothing. Who was that? Uh, Annalise. Annalise. Uh, yeah. And so um, yeah, but now we had a good night and um, yeah, that was the start of my Occupy experience. Wow. How did you? Were you brilliant. here for the riot? The 4:30? Um, nah, no, nah, I wasn't that 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 night. Um, I knew something was going to happen. I had that gut gut feeling, you know. But like on that particular night, I didn't stay. So like the next morning when I woke up and found what what had happened, it was kind of came as no great surprise because like there's the whole thing with the two blokes being arrested up here with the, the police testing the waters to see. Uh, 
what the crowd's reaction would be. I think they were hoping to incite a riot or something, just to be, have the justification to come uh, smash everything up. And yeah, and kind of the next day, yeah, kind of, yeah, it was like, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. So, yeah. yeah. What do you think, like, because you've been here six months as well, and so what do you think of three qualities that Occupy's given you, like three just things that it's helped you grow on and, and, and push and, and just, yeah. Um, em- empathy mm-hmm. is, is the main one. Like, um, like I've always been an open kind of person and been open to like um, value other people's Very opinions, uh, their points of view, that kind of thing. But like um, ba- basically just um, over the last six months I've learned a lot lot more what it really does mean to walk in someone else's shoes. And um, yeah, so it's uh, em- empathy. Um, I think, I think, I don't, I don't know what the expression would be, but um, ba- basically, um, like letting letting go of the whole material possession, uh, like kind of saving money, all, all of that whole kind of thing. I've changed in that, in, in that regard. Like um, it's really no no longer important to me, just as long as I'm happy and comfortable and like have have the basics in life. And um, a, a third one probably. Um, Probably I'm a, I'm a lot more outgoing and confident than I was before I Occupy. Um, like I don't don't mind uh, sharing sharing my opinions and that kind of thing. I'm I'm a better listener, and like um, I had a very small number of uh, people that I considered to be close friends before I Occupy, but now we're all, basically I've got a lot of people here around me that I consider to be family. So like um, it's it's a third thing. Cheerio, man. That's mad. And, and that's what Occupy's about. Yeah, rejoicing. Six months, man. That's a, that's a lot of nights. And that's a lot of nights that people have spent trying to keep this place going. And it's so beautiful to see that it's still going six months later. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's mad, all right. Like, big, big effort from everyone involved, you know, like those, those. Everyone kind of does what they can, and like um, yeah, all, all of it's like really appreciated, you know. And like what I hope from the six-month anniversary, I'd love to see like a lot of um, old friends from that first week, like swing by, yeah, and, and just to be able to catch up with everyone, like that'd be a really good thing, you know. So yeah. that's what I hope to for the six-month anniversary. It'd be really, really, really great for people to swing by and say hi. Yeah. So yeah. Come, uh, come down and occupy once more. Yeah, there's a thousand more stories to be told. Yeah. Indeed, <laughs> <Yeah>. a million. <laughs> yeah. yeah, occupy has been um, going on for the last six months, and what it means to me, um, it's probably been the best six months I've had since. Two years I'm, li- I'm living in Sydney because this is where I've met probably the best people, the most interesting people, the most, the most lovely people. Um, so it's it's an experience that I'll, I'll never forget, and I want to keep going for as much as possible. It is it's not an easy. Um, it's not an easy task to keep this going 24 hours, but every time I come here, I'm, I'm happy to be with the people that I really like. And there's always um, discussion about what's going on in the world and a lot of new actions that I participate in. And um, I wish to see a lot more going, coming. Um, in the weekend, it's always it's always very exciting, especially this one, because on Friday it's going to be a big court case on Friday the 13th. It's going to bring us luck again, because we've already won a lot of court cases. So this one is a very big one. And in the afternoon we're going to have um, Occupy Friday. It started like two or three weeks ago with a lot of workshops, a lot of creative workshops, um, uh, yoga, banners, um, probably uh, we're gonna start a zine, hopefully. Um, on Saturdays, preschools. 
Um, and on Sunday, it's gonna be the anniversary of our six month year. Um, we'll, um, what's gonna happen on Sunday? Just chill out and be with the occupiers. And, um, it's called the Festival of Descent. Alrighty, folks, we are here with our youngest occupier, our consistent youngest occupier today, Little Kira. Yo, Little Kira! Now, Little Kira, where were you when this all began? Who are you? Um, where was it? Where were you? Let's go back to October 15th. I wasn't here. You wasn't here. You wasn't here. Okay, so let's fast forward it. Where were you? When did you come? What made you come down here? Um, I walked past one day and I read all the cabinets. And so we were down there? Yeah. Up here? We were up here? Yeah. And then I just agreed with all the messages on signs and cabinets and stuff. And then there was like a dinner party or some shit another time. Ah, uh, yes. Soon after that? Yes. I was like, yeah, I'll come to that. Yeah, and then I came with my back. dad. This is really back. This is back in the day. Back in the day, bro. Oh. This is back. You're you're legit. That's good. Okay. You're not wasting my time. No. Um. Okay. So you and and then did you know anybody? Uh. Yeah. I knew Lily. Oh you knew no. Lily. No. I I'd, I'd known Lily for about five minutes when I came back. And you've been back ever since. Yeah. I mean, so why do you give, why do you care so much? I mean, really, your friends are off and they're gallivanting around and drinking and boozing on, and you're here night after night or day after day. If not, you're a consistent participant. And I mean, I mean, why? What is it the most that that grips you to be here when you should be off being just rebellious? Is this your ultimate rebellion? <laughs> um, your dad knows you're here. Yeah, yeah, and your family's happy that you're here. It's like, uh, it's like, some of my family. Well, is the happy. Majority, yeah, I mean the important ones, but they care. They're they're like, yeah, okay, we know she's there, she's safe, she's happy. So why are you here? I guess because it's I'm the one that's gonna live in the world. Yeah, that's good. I well, like take Bob for example. Bob's not gonna feel the change if it happens, and I'm still gonna be alive. And Doing stuff. Yeah, having to, 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 to live, live in it. <laughs> you so, gotta live in the big pile of poo that has been created. Exactly, and I don't like where this world seems to be going, so I wanna change it. That's all it takes, man. This is one little person like this going, yeah, you know what, I wanna change it. And and to be fucking consistent with that. And that's honourable, man. That's that's cool. Because you're right, you're, you're perfectly right in what you say. It is, you are, you're, yeah, we, yeah. Batter up, kid, you, you know, you're gonna be out one day and you, you're gonna have to do all that shit. You're gonna have to deal with the bills and the mortgage and the kids and, the, and all that. And it's really mad that you're thinking about all that at such a young age. That is honorable. I don't see, do you see any others her, her age down here going, yeah man, this is, this is legit? It's Jasper, but he comes like once a month. Let's not. <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> <Bum, bum. laughs> Consistency, people. This is what we like. You know. You know, bro. You know. Okay, so let me ask you one more question. What do you want to change the most? What's the thing that irks you the most? If there's the, the, the like, I ask you that question. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Come on, you're dwindling on it. You want to say it, but you're like, no, can I can I dare be so open and honest? What's the thing that pisses you off the most? Like when you're walking down the street and you see the way people treat each other, someone throwing rubbish on the ground, someone wearing fake fur or fur, someone spitting on a homeless person. <laughs> okay, there's these people and they don't care about these people. They just pretend they don't exist. And you feel you and can they really, do. You feel you can relate to a lot of different types of people. I try to find something to relate to. Some people it's harder than others. 
It's true. It's true. Very good. True, bro. True. True. True as bro. Good Daniel's son. Good. <laughs> she called it a rap. <laughs> she called it a rap.